In the following video, I wanted to answer for you the June 2011 question 5 a question in the OCR call 4 past paper on vectors. Okay, let's start straight away. Uh, question 5, it was a 10 mark question and it told us that we have lines L1, L2 given by the vector equations as follows. I'm going to call that R1 and I'm going to call that R2. Okay, it says show that lines L1 and L2 are skew. Now, you will remember that there are two conditions for lines to be skew. They are skew if two things are true. The first thing is that they are not parallel. They cannot be parallel. And the second thing is that they cannot intersect. They do not intersect. Okay, now, you, how can you show they're not parallel? Let's do this first part. Not parallel is, is pretty obvious, actually. Not parallel. Um, the direction of this is 3, 2, 1. The direction of this is 0, 1, minus 1. They are not multiples of each other. So they're not parallel as their directions or direction vectors are not multiples. of each other. Okay? If they were, then you would know they are parallel. Okay? Two vectors are parallel if one is a multiple of the other. That is not a multiple of that or vice versa, so they are certainly not parallel. Okay, next thing we need to show is that they do not intersect. Okay, well, as you know, I like to write these in a different format as one column vector. So I'm going to write R1 and I'm going to write it as follows. 4 plus 3s 4 plus 3s, uh, 6 uh, plus 2s, so 6 plus 2s, and 4 plus s, 4 plus s, okay? That's R1, and I'm going to do the exact same with R2. R2 is 1 plus no t, so it's just 1, 0 plus 1t, it's just t, and 0 minus uh, t is as follows, okay? So these two... Uh, We've got to show they don't intersect. So let's try and make them intersect. Let's see what will happen if they intersect and show that this can be this is not consistent. So if they were to inter intersect, that i would equal that i. So you would get 4 plus 3s is equal to 1. Okay, which tells us, okay, subtracting 4 off both sides and dividing by 3, that s would have to be minus 1. Next line, we would get 6 plus 2s is equal to t. And we would get, lastly, 4 plus s is equal to uh, minus t. Okay? So I'm going to call these equations, I'm going to call that equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Okay, um, well, I said that s was equal to minus 1 here. Now, if s was equal to minus 1, in 2, what would t be? Well, it would be 6 minus 2, which would be 4. So t would be 4, okay? So from 1 and 2, you could get that s was minus 1 and t was 4. Now, does, does that work in equation 3? Well, 4 minus 1 is 3, and negative 4 is just negative 4. So uh, minus 4 would be the other side. So uh, s is minus 1 and t is 4, not consistent with equation 3. That tells you that these three equations do not have a solutions s and t that make them all equal, i.e. the equations don't, uh, uh, the, these two lines do not intersect and therefore they are skewed. So you can say therefore R1 and R2 of what's called skew. Okay, moving on to the next part. We've shown the skew. Find the angle between L1 and L2. Well, I'm going to call the vector A the direction vector of R1, which is 3, 2, 1. I'm going to call the vector B uh, the direction vector of R2, 
which is 0, 1, minus 1. And to work out the angle between the two, I'm going to use the formula I always use, that cos theta is a dot b, okay, divided by the modulus of a times the modulus of b. I'm going to work each of these things out and work out theta from that. Well, what is a dot b? a dot b. 3 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. So a dot b is 1. What's the modulus of a? Well, it's the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is 9, plus 4 is 13, plus 1 is 14. So this is the square root of 14. The modulus of b is the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 1 squared, okay, which turns out to be the square root of 2. So substituting into this formula then, I'm going to use a different colour pen here, cos theta is a dot b, which is 1, divided by root 14 times root 2. Work this out on your calculator and work out the inverse of that. So that would be 1 divided by the square root of 14, divided by the square root of 2. You take the inverse cos of that and you get the answer that theta is 79.1 degrees to three significant figures and that is an acute angle, so it's the one you're looking for. Okay, and lastly, the point A lies on the line L1. OA is perpendicular to the line L1, where O is the origin. Find the position vector of A. Well, A lies on the line L1. So A has a position vector. OA has position vector um, 4 plus S lots of... Uh, th s lots of 3, etc. For some value of s. We don't know the s, so OA has some position vector, 4 plus 3s, 6 plus 2s, and 4 plus s, for some s that we don't know, s unknown, right? And the point is, we're going to try and find this s. But we do know that OA is perpendicular to line L1. So this is also a direction vector. That direction vector from O to A if I dot that with 3, 2, 1, I should get 0 because they're perpendicular. So, 4 plus 3s, 6 plus 2s, and 4 plus s, if I take the dot product of those with 3, 2, and 1, that's going to give me the answer 0 because the two vectors are perpendicular. OA is perpendicular to line L1. So, times this out, at 3 times that would give me 12 plus 9s, 2 times that would give me 12 plus 4s, and 1 times that would give me 4 plus s. All of that must be 0. 9s, 4s is 13, plus another one would be 14s. 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 4 is 28, and you get 0. Subtract 28 and divide by 14, you would get s has to be equal to minus 2. So, what is therefore the position vector of OA? Well, it's this when S is minus 2. So A must have value 4 plus 3 times minus 2, uh, 6 plus 2 times minus 2, and 4 plus minus 2. And working that out, that would be 4 minus 6, which is minus 2. Uh, 6 take away 4, which is 2. And 4 take away 2, which is 2. And point A has the ve as the position vector, we might want to write that as minus 2i plus 2j uh, plus 2k. And we're done on question 5, that 10 mark question. So I hope you found that useful in your revision for vectors in core 4. Thanks for listening.